New Jersey's tax collection troubles continue. New state figures show energy tax collections fell $121 million short of state projections. Now, when you combine that with the previously announced shortfalls on income and corporate taxes, you have a $351 million miss for the fiscal year. The state Senate Budget Committee is now considering a bill that would send millions in energy tax revenue to local governments. Joining us now from Trenton, the Budget Committee Chairman, Paul Sarlo. Senator, good of you to join us. On the face of it, one is tempted to say, if we're having trouble getting the money that we need to meet the projections, how can we send any of it anyplace else? Well, Mike, it's great to be with you. I'm sorry I can't be up in the studio. We're down here today in uh, Trenton. Uh, looking at the revenues and, and working on the budget, uh, as you are aware, the Treasury has acknowledged about a $351 million shortfall. In my conversations with the nonpartisan Office of Legislative Services, uh, we think it's even much higher than that. We could be, at, at the end of the day, for the combined current fiscal year 2012 and the, and the proposed fiscal year 2013 budget, we could be close to a billion dollars worth of shortfall. So, the Senator, whose question, fault is that? Well, these are revenues that are, were, were projected and certified by the governor. This is his budget from last year. I mean, ultimately, he's the one who certifies the revenues. It, with all that in mind, is it possible to responsibly contemplate any tax cuts? Well, that's why today uh, in our budget committee, uh, we ha do not have... Uh, the Senate proposals uh, for tax cut, nor do we have uh, the energy growth receipt tax restoration, which you had talked about earlier, uh, which has really been devastated over the years by governors of both parties, uh, but more importantly, this administration the last uh, three years. Uh, so today, we're going to put both of those proposals on hold. We really need to be responsible here. We need to get a handle on the revenues, uh, where they are today uh, for the current fiscal year, and what we're going to project going forward. So Ultimately, though, let me see if I understand you, though, revenues. Sorry, but let me see if I understand com correctly here. You're putting some of these uh, tax cutting and budget proposal measures on hold. For how long? Well, they're on hold. They're on hold. The governor, the treasurer, will be before us next week, as well as the nonpartisan of Office of Legislative Services. We need to hear from them uh, to get a better handle on the revenue projections uh, before you can consider any types of, of, of tax cut plans. At this point in time, I believe we're going to need to do some serious cutting, uh, both to get the current budget back in, uh, to get the current budget level uh, and balanced, and uh, to go forward. I'm not sure if the governor could stand up and be responsible and say that revenues next year are going to increase by 7 to 9%. So over the next week or two, we have some work to do to get a better handle on the revenues. Once the revenues, uh, where everybody's comfortable with the revenues, the governor is going to have to certify those revenues. And that's when the discussion will begin on a tax cut plan. It was too premature for everyone to be out there talking about a tax cut plan now. Uh, the Senate, I should say to you, Senator, you probably heard this. The governor was uh, out there yesterday calling you out by name and, and Majority Leader, Assembly Majority Leader Greenwald. What, what do you think about what he had to say about you? I think he called you a clown. Uh, I don't know what he called me. I'm honored uh, that I've, I've gotten his attention. Uh, it's my job to uh, be responsible and to make sure we have a responsible, balanced budget. I don't resort to name calling, and that's what the governor wants to do. I've been on the budget committee now for 11 years. I've been the chairman for the last four years, and I'm very proud of the work that we do down here. Uh, if that's the way he wants to resort to name calling, so be it. Uh, evidently, I got his attention. I'm honored uh, that I got his attention, and uh, we're going to do the responsible thing. You know, I'm not running for vice president. I'm not running uh, to go to Tampa in August to tell everyone I gave everybody a 10 percent income tax cut. That's what he needs to do uh, to keep his credentials high uh, on the national level. That I, all I care about is putting together a responsible budget. And I think we've all learned from mistakes from the past, from the, wink, uh, the income tax cuts under the Whitman years to the DeFrancesco revenue shortfalls. Uh, to mistakes made by McGreevy and Corzine. Uh, this is bipartisan governors over the years. Let's get responsible. Senator Sarlo, we have to leave it there. Thank you for coming on, sir. Thank you.